I want to talk about um, some of the most influential people that you have learned from in your life. Um, and and it could be training or it could be otherwise, but I'm just interested to learn um, who influences Mike Green. Yeah, so I mean, I'm 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 grateful and thankful to so many people out there. Um, you know, when I first came into military, and you know, I, I went to these uh, awesome you know shooting courses that they had in Special Forces. Uh, you know, they sent us out to civilian shooting schools, um, and I, I gained a certain level of proficiency. But the guy who uh, I didn't really know from Adam, we had mutual a mutual friend. I had a friend that lived near a guy named Kyle Lamb. And he introduced me to, to Kyle and, and Kyle took me into my first USPSA match. You know, he didn't know me. I didn't work with him. I wasn't one of those guys. And, uh, but he basically went through that process of making sure I had the right gear for the match, calling me the day before to make sure that I was actually showing up. And then when I got there, you know, he walked me through and showed me how to do all this stuff. And, and I thought, Hey, you know, I, I've been to a ton of, of shooting schools at this point. So I'm going to just smoke this. And it was quite the opposite, you know, but, uh, to me, that was so impactful that somebody of his caliber and, and, you know, at the time, nobody really knew, uh, he, you know, he wasn't, he didn't have Viking tactics and, you know, he wasn't, uh, you know, the legend that he is today, but, uh, even back then, you know, he had a certain era of, of respect by other shooters around him, you know, and, and mm -hmm. he, you know, for whatever reason was the nicest guy in the world to me, who was just introduced through a friend of a friend and, uh, you know, he introduced me to USPSA and, uh, he introduced me to other shooters that would come to town and train with those guys. And I was just amazed that I got to, that he did that for me and I'll always be grateful for that. But, um, so you awesome. know, as, as I, you know, grew and, and started shooting, uh, I became really good friends with Frank Garcia. He's a USPSA, Ipsic grandmaster, world-class shooter. He had a huge influence on my shooting skills and ability. And then Steve Anderson really, really changed my whole concept of, of shooting, of going to the next level with, you know, his mindset and his dry fire stuff. Mm -hmm. Um, and, uh, in the, in the, in the self-defense world, you know, um, a big, huge influence on me is Tom Gibbons, the way he does his defensive classes. Um, and, and, you know, um, that's where I met Adam was at a, uh, a Tom Gibbons, uh, range master course, you know, and mm -hmm. I think that the, you know, his impact on the community is, is so like underrated. I, there's people out there that have never heard of Tom Gibbons and I'm like, wow, how can you not have heard of the guy, you know? Mm -hmm. uh, but it, he has done so much. And as far as like opening my eyes into, you know, the civilian world, defensive shooting and, and how that impacts and how we need to, you know, really work on the mindset of our students to be in legal justified, um, uh, mode and that they have to have a certain skill set and a, and a, and a great mindset and to like always be aware. And he just has so much data and references. I can't, I can't stress that, you know, those are the first guys that come to my, to my head, but I mean, there's tons of tons of other folks out there who have really influenced me as a, as a shooting instructor, um, there's just, I mean, I've, I've got great friends in the community. You know, we talked earlier about Scott Jitlinski, amazing guy, mm -hmm. amazing instructor. Um, you know, it, we just, there's so many folks out there. I could, you know, I could probably go, we could spend an hour just talking about <laughs> all the people who have influenced and helped me out through, uh, throughout my shooting career. 